All right, hello there. My name is Swagram, and today we're gonna go over a little webcam overlay for your Twitch, YouTube, and whatever. We're gonna start with a white background, add a new layer, and add some guides at 50% vertical and horizontal. Move over to a little rounded rectangle. I hate those normal re rectangles; they just they don't look nice. We're gonna make another one uh, a little bit smaller, just so you get the rounded edges in the inside as well, as you can see there. I'm also showing you what you what happens when you don't do that, when you just uh, shrink the selection, you get normal edges. I don't like the normal edges, it looks weird. So we're going to go over there again, little rounded edges, let's go. And then we're going to make a new layer and um, add a little bevel and emboss to it to make it uh, a little bit more 3D effect as I will show you in a second. Right now, there you go, get a little bit of uh, 3D coloring. And then we're also going to add a little bit of a drop shadow, as you can see on the preview I just showed. That was my previous webcam overlay. This is why I'm making this video, because I think it's a bit more... It's a bit cluttered, you can't really see the logo because it's on the white, but whatever. Making the background blue now. Just so we can see the details a little bit better. There we go, there's the drop shadow set at 75, it's a 232 and then 75%, as you see it goes in, so invert it. Make another new layer for the details, always name your layers so you know what you're doing. And uh, right now we're just making a little rounded rectangle, uh, coloring it green, because of uh, like a little bit of the monster logo to be honest. Um, I always use guides, just to make sure that they're at the same position and I'm not fucking around with it. So, make a little rounded rectangle, you know, have it a little bit bigger or smaller as you want. Then auto crop the layer so you have the same size and you can, you know, uh, have them at the same size always. Then just merge them all down or just duplicate the first one, then do the same steps, but space them evenly, then merge them all down duplicate all three of them and then uh, just flip them and move them. You can either remove or, or keep like the top and lower sections. I like it with it. There's the preview what it should be looking like but you put a little bit more time in it. Now we're gonna just add the text which I'm using the font Snickles. You can download that from the description. I think it's very nice. Um, and we're also gonna add a little emboss or better, better said a bevel and emboss. You can download that from any of the script foo stuff. Um, and it adds like a little more shadow, like a bit more 3D-ish to it. I'm gonna alpha 2 selection, create a new layer, make that black, grow it, make it black again, and just uh, set it underneath the white layer. So you have a little bit of a 3D effect. What you also can do if you like a bit more detail and stuff, you just use the path tool, set your guides, uh, to add like uh, a slanted setting and just uh, delete that, make another rounded rectangle, make it green, make it whatever color you want, put a bit of a Gaussian blur on it and there you go, you got a neon bar. You can do that, you don't have to, I personally don't like it anymore, I like it like this. Uh, okay, I will show you in the preview, there you go, there's your new webcam overlay. 